Hey, what's going on everyone? This is iReviews. In this video, I will talk about jailbreaking and iOS 11. So in this video, I will show you guys a few tweaks, which I think would be great if Apple could find any way to implement any of these tweaks into iOS 11, because they are very useful and I believe it would enhance the user experience of the iPhone. Of course, this has happened before. Apple has constantly added features from jailbreak tweaks to iOS. For example, swipe selection, so you touch on the keyboard to move the cursor anywhere you want. Or the tweak called cream, colors here at the toggles on the control center. Of course, this was the feature first of the Apple Watch, but the tweak called cream brought the colors to the toggles of the control center to the iPhone first. And also other tweaks like Bat Saver, which is now low power mode on iOS devices and also face down which now is rise to wake on iOS 10 on the iPhone 7 and the 6s. So we saw a lot of features from the jailbreak tweaks coming to iOS and hopefully Apple will also add any of these features that I'm about to show you guys with these jailbreak tweaks. So the first one is a simple one, extra icon dock. The dock of iOS allows you to have only four icons. So I'm sure most of you guys have more than four favorite apps or more than four apps that you use frequently on your device and you want to have more icons on the dock of your device. So extra icon dock is a tweak that allows you to add up to 10 icons on the dock so you can choose from five up to 10. So you can see here, I have five now and I can add up to 10 icons on the dock. The control center is a very useful feature of iOS. It was first introduced on iOS 7 and it's basically the same all these years, the control center basically has the same functionality. Nothing much has been added to the control center. So I don't really remember the last time I used this icon, for example, or the do not disturb icon or the Bluetooth icon on the control center. Why not have the controls, the toggles and also the quick launches that you need. So with flip control center, you can change them and you can add more so you can see here you can add the toggles and the quick launches that you really need that you really use and remove those that you don't need so you can also rearrange them so you can have them any sort of way you like so here for example i have the cellular data i have also the low power mode right here on the control center which are way more useful than some of the toggles that apple has added to the control center 3G Unrestrictor. Apple and also third-party apps have quite a lot of restrictions when it comes to downloading apps and stuff like that using the cellular data 3G or 4G or LTE, whatever you use. But with this tweak, you can remove those limits. So all you have to do is just open the tweak, come here, click edit, click the plus button here and just choose the app where you want to remove the restrictions and you won't have any more 3G, 4G or LTE restrictions on those apps. One of the most annoying things on iOS is trying to move icons. So you will have to do it one by one. You drag an icon, then you go back, you drag another one and you have to do it like that. It's no other, no other way to do it faster. But if you're jailbroken, then you can have multi icon mover plus. This tweak allows you to move multiple icons at once. So you just tap here to select them, you can see this check mark right here and you just simply go to the page where you want to move them to and all you have to do now is just press the home button and as you can see it will completely move all the icons that you select at once. So protecting your device with a passcode or with touch ID is a very good idea. You should always have a passcode or the touch ID enabled on your device. But what for example you give your phone to your friend or someone to use it and you don't want them to be able to open certain apps. So you want to lock certain apps that only you want to have access to those apps. You can do that with BioProtect. So you try to open an app, it will require your touch ID or a passcode, whichever you choose before you can open that app. This is a very useful, much needed feature that hopefully Apple will find a way to implement it into iOS 11. I don't really know why Apple thinks that we should have such a big volume hood on our devices. You're playing a game or you're watching a video, you turn up or down the volume and you will have that big junky volume hood 
on the middle of the screen. There should be a way to remove that. Apple should find a way to remove that hood. It has been there for quite a while now, for forever. So minimal hood, you can look at this. Minimal hood is a tweak that will implement the volume hood into the status bar. This is way better. It won't interrupt you with anything. And still you can see the volume of your device up here. I know this jailbreak app probably will never come to iOS, but Apple should really find a way to implement such kind of features on iOS so that you can clear all the junk files from your device so it doesn't take a lot of space on your device. So this is iCleaner Pro and it allows you to clean up space on your device. This would be very useful, especially for people who have devices with smaller amount of storage. This would be very helpful because the iOS devices have a lot of junk files. If I run this right now, you can see it will find quite a lot of files that I can remove from my device and free up storage on my device. So let's just wait for this, for this to complete and see here how much storage I will be able to free up using this tweak, which is pretty amazing. And as I, as I said, it will be really helpful if Apple would add a kind of way to clean up junk files on their iOS devices. So you can see here, I can free up here 1.3 gigabytes right now on my device. Here's one that will save you a lot of time. On iOS, when you want to delete a contact, what you have to do is open that contact, click on it, click edit here, scroll all the way down, click the delete contact, and then confirm here to delete it. So with this tweak called swipe to delete contact, that will be much easier. So all you have to do is just swipe like this, click delete here, confirm, and it's gone. A feature we have been waiting for quite a long time to come to iOS, and it has been rumored that it will come on iOS 10.3, but iOS 10.3 right now is on beta 4, and it didn't happen, is the dark mode. So Eclipse 4 brings the dark mode to iOS devices, to jailbroken iOS devices, of course. You can see how cool the app looks. It not just looks cool, but it's also very useful at nighttime. It's a totally different experience using your device with this dark mode enabled than using your device with the white screens that Apple has on iOS. Eclipse 4 is very useful. The dark mode looks just amazing and it's also very functional. Being able to open the camera app directly from the lock screen is a very good feature. So at any time from the lock screen, you can swipe from the right side to the left and it will open the camera app. But what if you don't really use that much the camera app? What if you want to have another app there instead of the camera app? Why cannot you replace it? With LS Swipe the App, you can replace the camera app with any app that you want. You can see here, if I swipe, it will open the calculator app instead of the camera app. So you should be able to choose your favorite app or the app that you need the, you need the most to have there directly on the lock screen instead of the camera app. Okay, so this one should have come to iOS years ago. It's really, I don't know why Apple doesn't add this feature nested folders you can create a folder within a folder so for example you create a folder called games within that folder you can create subfolders like sports you can create arcade racing and all that stuff so with nest 10 you can create a folder inside of another folder so you just drag the icon just like you normally do to create a folder and you will have a folder inside of another folder Safari full screen scrolling. This is a tweak that I really love. It looks just amazing. So you can see here on Safari, the top bar and the bottom bar take a lot of space here on the page. So with this tweak enabled, once you start browsing on Safari, you start scrolling like this, you can see it will remove the top bar and the bottom bar so you will have the full screen here while you're browsing or reading something on a web page. So another tweak that I would like to see implemented on Safari is a simple one, swipe down like this to refresh on a page on Safari, it's called Safari Refresher. Apple has implemented the picture-in-picture -picture feature on the iPad. I think it would be really cool if Apple will also add this feature to the iPhones, especially to, to the bigger ones, the 7 and the 7 Plus can easily have this feature 
probably not the iPhone 5s or the SE, the smaller devices, but it would look great on bigger devices. So Video Paint is a tweak that will bring this feature to the iPhone, as you can see right here. You can have picture in picture, you can move it anywhere you want. You can go here to a full screen mode, or you can close it with this X button. So that's it for this video guys, these are some of the jailbreak tweaks that I think are very useful and Apple should find a way to implement any of these tweaks to their iOS 11 which will be released this June, June 6th it will be the release of the first beta of iOS 11 and hopefully we will see any of these tweaks implemented into iOS 11. So let me know what you think, which is your favorite tweak, what tweak would you like to see Apple implement into iOS 11. So that's it for this video, don't forget to subscribe for more, also go ahead and follow me on my social media, you will find all the links in the description of this video.